Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to use the Honey Bee Stamps House Builder dies and the House Builder Beach add-on dies and the stamp set. So the stamp set comes with some coordinating dies and the um, but it also has some extra pieces that will help you build the beach house. Um, so they're sort of like standalone type dies, if that makes sense. And um, so I thought I, I kind of wanted this sort of soft, chalky looking card today. So I've used some antique linen oxide for my sand because oxides tend to have that chalkiness to them, which is quite nice for some things, especially like this sort of thing. I mean, they, they're great anyway, but um, and then I've got some tumbled glass and um, I want to say broken china. <laughs> I did show them a minute ago. <laughs> it's been a long day. And um, I'm just getting that uh, sort of sky, just sort of blending that on um, onto my card. And um, this is a really easy way to get like a ground and a sky um, sort of easy backdrop if you want something quite simple. If you want something more defined, then you can do other things. But for a very simple background, this works beautifully. And this is on some uh, watercolor or acrylic paper, I believe. So it can handle the moisture, which is nice. So I decided to spritz it with water. Shocking. <laughs> and um, I mopped this one up. And that sort of, especially in the sky bit, it kind of gives it the sort of cloudy look, you know, with when the sky is a little, it's blue, but it's sort of got a few clouds here and there. So that's my basic background. And this is about five by seven, this card. And then the from the original house builder, I have the base of the house. And I, to color all these images in, I actually used some watercolor paints that are Artist Loft. And they've got, the watercolors are kind of like a chalky finish again. So it's sort of added to that look that I was going for, um, which is, you know, yeah. So the base of the house, I also um, used a, scoreboard and just every half inch I scored so it gave it that sort of plank wood plank look um, just extra texture on there the roof actually cuts all these extra little pieces in it that make it look like a like a straw roof which is pretty cool <laughs> so <laughs> um, and then for the the stairs are from the original house builder uh, and so are the windows and the curtains but what I needed for the door was the door in the house build at the original house builder is kind of fancy so it's got some extra detail and stuff on there which I didn't want for a beach house I thought beach house you need something simple so this little piece that I'm putting on now is actually one of the smaller windows in the original house builder and I figured it works I think when honeybee stamps do the their own demo of this the set they actually use the farmhouse add-on um, and the farmhouse builder and I don't have that so I came as close to it <laughs> as I could and this kind of works so um, so that's that's the other nice thing about these sets is that you can mix and match them across all the different sets even if it's a Christmas themed one or a Halloween one you can kind of mix and match depending on what you're doing so I, I think that's very very cool and then what I did was I also used those same uh, artist loft um, watercolor paints like I say they're kind of a chalky finish um, I use that to to paint a watercolor paint sort of <laughs> all the pieces so um, all these different pieces I did that off camera because this otherwise this would be a very long video <laughs> but um, these little red pieces are also part of the curtains in the original house builder and I think they're meant to be and correct me if I'm wrong I think they call the valance is it a valance at the top you know the frill <laughs> at the top of curtains sometimes um, uh, but I didn't want the, the sort of fancier curtains that you get in the original house builder which I've done a video on um, because they were too fancy for a beach house a beach house you want something quite simple and, and and plain almost so I thought these worked really well by just turning them sideways so to speak <laughs> and using them as the curtains um, so again that's another cool thing and then there are little fences and a gate I don't use the gate in the end um, because it just didn't 
I couldn't work out where to put it to be honest <laughs> and it just wasn't working out so I decided to leave the gate off and you'll see that I'll go back and forth with it but eventually I'll just leave it there so this is where I'm going to start to build up my like scene for my little beach house and like I say there's a lot of pieces there's a lot a lot of pieces <laughs> and I die cut a lot of pieces um, but it was it was fun and it was nice to to have a, like a coordinating dies with a stamp set as well um, now the reason I did that is and I don't normally because I have my scanning card I don't need to but it was kind of nice but at the same time the reason or the sorry the reason I'd done that is because there were when you buy the beach add-on dies so the ones that'll have the roof and the you know the, the extra bits the palm trees that sort of thing there are the the coordinating dies come with it for the stamp set that goes with it so I figured I may as well <laughs> so, so I kind of landed up with them anyway so um, so I went with the stamp set as you know and sort of put both together um, so that that kind of makes sense it's very clever <laughs> but it's, it kind of makes sense to do that and um, this is where and there are like I say there are loads and loads of different pieces there are plants there are plants that you can color yourself there are plants that you can uh, sorry pieces you can color yourself there are pieces that are sort of you know you stamp them in the color like like the plants um there are little pots there's you know the the bicycle the the anchor the, the tons of stuff like there's loads of different images in here that are for you know that you can add to your beach house um I didn't use all of it in the end because I one I think you need just a bit more space so maybe a a, a longer like a, a a big slimline card would be would work really well or you know like an A4 or eight and a half by eleven size card um, I think that would work it, you could oh you could do all sorts with that but this was sort of a, a about a five by seven if I remember right. About five by seven and it's still you can get a ton on here like there's <laughs> there's tons of room here so um so yeah so just getting my palm trees on um or the base of the palm what are they called trunks hello <laughs> so, and um and then just sort of figuring out where you know where to put everything this is kind of the fun bit for me it's going it's, it's kind of like playing house but not <laughs> it is probably not like that at all but I get to decide where everything's going to go and I love doing things like this so um yeah <laughs> it's good fun and at this point I thought let's get the um palm trees leaves on so that I have better placement of some of the other pieces that I that I need to know where I'm going to stick them um just helps with like visually how you're going to place things which bits are going behind which bits are coming in the front um and then just like i say just trying to work out where you want to put everything because it's kind of tricky when there's so many pieces it was a bit overwhelming i will say and pretty much well in fact all the plants i didn't use any of them um because i just couldn't find where to put them um there's also a load of uh different sentiments and you can stamp them on the like the plank of wood um, and you can also stamp them and die cut them out that's the other really good thing and really nice thing about honeybee stamps is that the dies that coordinate for sentiments cuts the sentiment out like around the edge of the sentiment it's just, it's so cool so um, I've not seen very many other companies that do that so that's another very very nice thing about about this but I decided to um, stamp it direct on what would be a plank of wood and then I colored them in the coloring in of the images I used my Prismacolor pencils um, I haven't dragged these out for a long long time um, I'm not very good with pencils so <laughs> so I was gonna start off because also again wanted the softer look I was gonna start off by just coloring them in with pencil and then the texture from what you would naturally get from a pencil when you're you know coloring in with that um i was going to leave that just as extra texture because it's 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 its own sort of thing but i didn't like it so while i was doing it i suddenly remembered that actually i can use either gamsol or i use a um 
oh what do they call it a <laughs> I can't think of the stuff <laughs> like a, not turpentine um a, like a low odor mineral spirits um and it's cheap as chips and it works just as well for me um and basically what it will do is it will dissolve so as long as your crayon your pencil crayons um are wax based i believe they it will what it does is it dissolves that and what happens is it kind of blends it so you could lightly pencil on two shades so like an orange and a red and then you use your gamsol or your low odor mineral spirits over the top and you kind of color it in with like a um a paper paper stump is that what they call it paper paper stump i think god it's been a while um and you would use that and you essentially color it again with the 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 um mineral spirits and it kind of dissolves that color which means it helps to blend those colors so it's a very cool thing i just i haven't done it for a long time and that was the whole thing with this was just trying different things you know like water coloring all the all the individual die cut pieces and then using pencils on the stamped images and things like that so it's just dragging stuff out that i haven't used for a while so this whole week is kind of that um whether i'm using watercolors or whether i'm using copic markers or whatever it is just to do something different and to you know i've i've lost a bit of my mojo so <laughs> i'm just like trying to find that again um so yeah so there there it is it's it's pretty pretty easy even those birds come come with the die set so i'm just like wow they're so tiny <laughs> so, um but yeah and i've totally forgot to put a door handle on my door i've just realized that now aren't i clever anyway uh i hope you've enjoyed this guys and i hope that you drag out either your pencils or your watercolors or something you haven't used for a long time and just play with it um think about like coloring in die cuts with those mediums instead of using colored cardstock and that's kind of what i was also going for so i hope you've enjoyed this guys and um yeah when do we get to go to the beach again hey <laughs> and i will see you next time bye <laughs>